Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Showcase video here on the channel. Once again, we are checking out the Naruto Ninja World mod. It has received yet another update for Minecraft 1.20.1. This is update 0.1.8. Let's get right into this. But before we do so, if you guys haven't enjoyed the mod showcase on the channel for this anime mod of Naruto, consider leaving a like, subscribing if you're new, and if you've never watched the anime, there will be spoilers ahead. So just be aware of that. Anyway, let's get right into this. So the first thing that's been added in is you can now play as Jiraiya. So in your ninja handbook that you get right at the beginning of loading into a world with this mod installed, before you could pick non-ninja, Naruto, or Sasuke, now Jiraiya has been picked, so let's choose him. Maumiaboku Agama Sanin. Selected Jiraiya achievement unlocked. So we're gonna go through all his attacks really quickly while in creative. So I remember, if I remember correctly, selecting ninjutsu, I think I have keybound to four and five, and then three is released. So first up we have the Odama Rasengan, so let's do it. Again, normal Rasengan like you would expect. Let's switch. Oh, I did substitution accidentally. So next up we have, I don't know what that means in English, but we have uh, Katon Idan. So let's release that. Oh, it's the fireball jutsu. Okay, sure. Also, the fire has been updated. The particles and whatnot now work a little bit better. So we have that now. Let's switch again to summoning jutsu. Oh, I can summon Gumbabunta, who now actually has AI and he does function properly. So let's do it. So we have summoned Gumbabunta. He now actually will jump around and do stuff. He has a little bit more animation now, it looks like. And he has 800 health. So that's pretty cool. After the summoning jutsu, we have the Katon Gaiamu Endian. Again, I'm sorry. I haven't watched the anime in Japanese in a while. I forget what this stuff means. But anyway, let's release it. You need to ride Gama. Oh, it's the Toad Oil Bomb. That's what it is. Here, wait, wait. Let me switch back to summoning. Okay, so I'm riding him. And then let me release this. Let me see if this works. Yeah, he does the, the Toad Oil Bomb thing with the Gumma Oil Toad. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's the last four. Okay, I guess it lasts until you get off him. That's crazy. I don't know how much ninjutsu that uses up, but that's that's nuts. So, And then we, of course, have Sage Mode. Let's do it. Oh, I haven't learned it yet. So Sage Mode has to be learned, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's all his different jutsus that he can use, which is really nice. So I like how Sage Mode doesn't have a chakra cost, but you do have to unlock that because in this mod, you do have to level up your ninjutsu skills. You can't just use everything off the bat. But Sage Mode being the last thing, so that's really cool. Other than that, we have, obviously, the Gambunta AI has been changed. The Illusion now has this effect where if you're put under, I assume, a Genjutsu, you cannot attack or cast ninjutsu. We have the clones will no longer use substitution technique, which is interesting that they did that before. Uh, particles will not disappear when they are too far away now, disappear. Uh, clone AI has been repaired and they function better now. And now we have added in the sand shinobi. So the Suna, Jonin, Chunin, and Genin have now been added. And you can actually find the hidden sand village in the world now, which I'll show off at the end of the video. So first off, we have the hidden sand Genin, 20 health for armor bars. We have the hidden sand Chunin. 60 health, 8 armor bars, and the Hidden Sand Jonin, which has 100 health, 12 armor bars. So I'm going to make the, the risk of going into survival and uh, switching to my... We'll just do Rasengan. Attack! Alright, one at a time. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Alright, so they do throw Shuriken and use Substitution. At least the Chunin does. Alright, Rasengan again. Rasengan needs to deal more damage, I swear. And I'm dead. Okay, that's enough fighting them for now. And I'm all the way over here because I forgot to set my spawn point. Lovely. Uh, other than that, known bugs currently right now is when clones throw shuriken, they sometimes accidentally injure other clones and attack each other. This bug will be fixed in the next version. So just a heads up on that. It's always nice to have that sort of added info to know for known bugs. And I do love how these guys look, but I'm pretty sure that's it for all the chain. Oh, oh, we have two new characters added in. We have Teuchi and Ayama, the ramen people. Yes, literally Teuchi, 1,000 health, 20, or 1,024 health, 15 armor bars, and then Ayame, 250 health, 
15 armor bars and you cannot trade with them yet but i imagine in the future you will be able to trade with them and i imagine they also spawn at ichiraku ramen right now which is actually a structure in the world speaking of the world i'm gonna take a cut and actually get into a world and show you guys the hidden sand village let's do it okay so i'm at the hidden leaf village right now and i did want to just show that both Teuchi and ayama do spawn in the ramen shop they are permanent spawns for the structure just a heads up if you are trying to look for them now let me show off the hidden sand village all right so we are here it did spawn in a little weird area in the world but i do assume this is going to spawn all sort of desert biomes but this is currently what the hidden sand village looks like it has the architecture that resembles the hidden sand village of course there are buildings that you can go into and explore to your heart's content and yes the hidden sand Joni, chunin and genin all do spawn here i did actually see them spawning in the wild too just a heads up so they do actually just roam around the world and yes you can sort of loot the place i'm not sure if there's any loot added to it yet it doesn't seem like there is but you can move throughout this place and is that a button i don't even know if that was there but yeah it's really cool how the structure looks and i really do like even like the beacon is here the gold blocks if you want to loot it or if you want to just treat this place with respect and not fight and cause an international war go for it we don't need the fifth great ninja war happening anytime soon but yeah i really like that these structures are being added into the world on top of all the ninja i think the body creators got a great idea so far in vision of what the naruto world is meant to look like in minecraft and i'm excited to see what they do going forward i also forgot to mention that this place is made out of newer blocks like we got the mud blocks here we have the mangrove wood being used here i always like when modern day mods use the modern day blocks that are in minecraft versus like older blocks it always looks you know like if it's the version either way that is going to do it for this version update for the mod it is available for download right now you guys can check it out linked in the description and let me know what your current favorite thing is about the naruto mod or what you're excited to see next in the updates i'm curious to know also i wish there would be one more note i kind of wish there is sort of a karma system added in eventually in the mod whereas if you attack like a hidden sand ninja anytime you go to the village they hate you unless you like do something to make them happy again sort of like how bad omen works with the villages in vanilla minecraft anyway that's just a little food for thought right there and i hope to see you all in the next video guys have a great day everyone stay safe goodbye